The Shopping Campaign Builder 2.0 is the perfect tool to build out new campaigns, ad groups, and product groups automatically from your Google Merchant Center data. You have a few options. You can either create a new shopping campaign or work on an existing shopping campaign. We'll show you how to build new campaigns with this tool first. You have to have your Google Merchant Center data connected. If you already have it connected, it will show up here in a list and you simply select the feed you want to use. Otherwise, you can link a new feed right here. So we'll choose this feed, go on to the next step. Here we get to choose whether we're going to build standard shopping campaigns, the ones that you set up yourself and manage yourself, or whether you want to do smart shopping campaigns where Google takes all the control. You can do either, but for this example, we're going to create standard shopping campaigns. Next, you get to choose whether to use one campaign or multiple campaigns. Using multiple campaigns is the recommended way to go because it gives you more control over things like automated bidding, for example. Now you can choose from a number of factors and attributes to automatically build campaigns. These numbers 100%, 55% are important because they tell you how many products in your feed actually have a value for this specific attribute. When you're gonna build campaigns, it makes sense to pick a value or an attribute that has 100% coverage. So in this example, let's pick Google category zero. We can see we'll have five variations for that field. That means we'll get five campaigns and all 75,000 products will have a home within these new campaigns. From here, we can click next to define product groups and ad groups. First, we'll define how the product groups will look. So we've already said we make a campaign by Google category zero. By default, that means this has to be the first level of division of the product groups but we get to subdivide this further. So we could say we're gonna split it by product type zero, next product type one, and eventually all the way down to the individual SKU or item ID. Then we get to choose at what level of this split for product groups we want to make ad groups. So I'm going to pick a third level division. So every unique combination of category zero, type zero, and type one will become its own ad group. We'll click next and now we get to do some settings for the new campaigns that will result from this things like bidding strategy starting bid the target country and this is of course limited by the feed and what it's targeted to the naming format for campaigns as well as ad groups this is a great way to make sure that you can find back your campaigns later on so i can prefix them with anything i want so i'll put in opt dash we can also set up a campaign group name. This is a structural element that Google Ads uses and which will make it easier to manage afterwards. And we can have a combined daily budget for all of these campaigns. And so that budget will be split by all of the generated campaigns. When we click next, we'll see exactly what the bids and budgets look like. As we already knew from before, we'd be getting five campaigns because there's five different values for Google category zero. As you can see, the naming convention has been applied, so we prefix everything with opt, and then we put in the value of Google category zero. We then also tell you how many ad groups, products, and product groups will be in each of these resulting campaigns. And here we can make bulk changes to the budgets. So we could set every budget to 100, or we can make individual changes to each of the campaigns. We can do the same thing with the bids. Once we're happy here, we can go and do a full preview by clicking next again. Now this is a tree view. It gives you the summary right here on the side, but if you wanted to exactly understand what products will be listed in each of these campaigns, we can open up the campaign. We can see the resulting ad groups, AG, below each of these campaigns. And then we can dig into the product groups. So we can follow the level of split all the way down to the final product level right there. If we're happy with this, we can hit the apply button. Once we apply, we have two options, either apply at once to do a simple build out, a one time build out, or we can apply and refresh automatically. We recommend you refresh automatically because that way, if the data in your merchant center feed changes, this tool will automatically detect it and make sure that any new campaigns, new ad groups and new product groups are generated based on the structure that you had already defined. So it makes sure that when you have new products or you rename products, they're always going to be in the correct location in your Google Ads account. From here, you can click the button to submit changes. That will kick off 
a queued process. It will be submitted to Google Ads and it can take a while, but at that point you can walk away and let the tool do its work, come back later and find that all of your product groups, ad groups and campaigns have been built exactly the way you wanted.